up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So, I have just come back from watching the latest Jumanji movie, Jumanji The Next Level. And well, you know, I was quite disappointed. So this movie itself was something I wasn't overly excited for, but when the trailer started coming out, when they had all these small skits coming out, I was like, this is how you market a movie. Like, this sh movie could have been really good. The first movie, Jumanji, the one with Robin Williams, may not age all that well, but it's still really entertaining, and Robin Williams really carries that movie. The second one, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, it's called. That is a fun, entertaining movie. Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart are so well together. Jack Black steals every scene he's in, and it really is entertaining, laugh out loud, and creative. But this movie tries to be the same as that, and it just, it's really messy in how everything happens. I'm going to go into spoilers from here on out, so if you don't want to know anything about the movie, skip ahead to wherever I put the time to go to, and just go listen to my final score. So the movie itself is very messy. It doesn't really know who the main character is because at the start, we really focus on Spencer and everything. And then you get introduced to Danny DeVito's character, Uncle Eddie, who is honestly really great. I just love the characters and the actors. They're doing a really good job. Apart from The Rock, to be honest, he's really, really bad in this movie. He's not terrible, but you can just see that he's not playing an elderly man naturally. So, Kevin Hart does a great job as an elderly man, but The Rock, he's, he's struggling a lot. But overall, the movie, it starts off focusing on Spencer, but then for most of the part, when they're in Jumanji itself, the main um, character development and the main conflict is with um, Uncle Eddie and Milo. So, it's really just messy as in it forgets Spencer for a bit and it gives The Rock and Kevin Hart the main story by making them Milo and Eddie just because they're The Rock and Kevin Hart instead of focusing on what the story needed which is Spencer itself because he comes back roughly halfway through the movie and you know his conflict kind of gets pushed aside still for Uncle Eddie's and Milo's. In the same way, the movie also lacks tension because towards the beginning of the movie, so many characters lose lives and it's in ridiculous ways, comedic ways, and it's all fine and dandy, but it just takes away the tension from the final act itself. Yeah, the trailer says that not all of you are gonna make it out of Jumanji this time, but when you figure out that Milo is sick and he's going to die, you realize that he's going to be the one who's staying in Jumanji and not leaving. So having all that tension with the people, oh, they have one life, le one life left, it's just gone because we as the audience can already see what's going to happen. And the set pieces, while interesting and everything, they're really basic by the final act. Um, it kind of, yeah, it just peaks early on and yeah. It's not like this movie is bad or anything. I don't think it's a terrible movie. I found it entertaining, um, you know, a decent popcorn flick. It's, but it's definitely the worst of the trilogy so far. It's setting up another movie to come and it did so in a natural way. But the thing is, I'm not as excited for it as I was for this movie. The one good opportunity is that without Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart in it, hopefully for the next movie because well unless the characters come from the game into the real life like the ostriches did it's just a little good that we will be able to spend time with the other characters more and not have to give the limelight to them just because they're the big stars so overall this movie was a mess it had a few problems i still enjoyed aspects of it parts of it i didn't laugh as much as i did with the last movie and it's still lacking that kind of fun that the original one had but nonetheless it's not a movie that you should try to avoid i would give it a five or a six out of ten it's a decent watch but beyond that it's not as good as the previous two entries so let me know what you thought of jumanji itself did you like it did you not like it are you going to see it in cinemas let me know in the comment section down below hit that like button subscribe to my channel for more videos and until next time i'll see you